Hello YouTubers and modeling community. Focusar is back again with a new video. Uh, Saturday I was at downtown Glendale here in Arizona. I went into an antique uh, antique store and seen this on the shelf and asked them what they wanted for it. Uh, guy said uh, $59.99. It was opened. So I asked if I can take a look at it, see if everything's there, and uh, he said, yeah, go ahead. He had some uh, scotch tape on there and cut the tape off, opened it up, and started looking at it, and everything's there except for the instructions, and somebody had cut the driver's door open, and it looks like they used a, a hot razor knife. So I asked him about that, and he goes, oh, wow. He goes, I didn't even know. And uh, so I go, what's the best you can do on this with no instructions and somebody cut up the body? He goes, right, give me 35 bucks for it. So I'm like, all right, cool. So uh, yesterday afternoon, I started doing some work on it and trying to put things together without instructions is uh, a little hard. So and I've been watching a couple of YouTube videos from about five, six years ago and Saw some nice uh, truck builds and decided to do something different. So let me show you what I got so far without an instruction sheet. There it is. KW900. I got the chassis put together. Got the front suspension put in. Got the rear suspension set up. And I cut and extended the chassis because it's going to be a custom classy show hauler. It's going to have a full custom paint job with the full interior cabinets, carpet, tile. Rear closet, uh, slide outs. That's the front slide out that's going to go on the driver's side, and that's going to be the uh, bedroom bed slide. And on the very back end is going to be a closet area that goes along the whole rear wall. Then, once I get the floor built, I'll do all my I'll do all my framework around it for the floor then I'll start building the compartments on both sides then I think right in front of this rear tire is where I'll have the uh, own end generator diesel generator then a compartment back here for like the shore power and this compartment here will be city water uh, tank drains, sink drains, then there'll be another slide out, well there'll be an entry door on the passenger side, here, then the kitchen, then the bath will be in the center with the water tank, then the rear bedroom, then the rear closet. So anyways, that's what I got done so far, and, and of course, uh, You can see whoever cut the door used a hot razor knife and really hacked it. So now I got to repair that, fix the door, but I'm going to hinge it so the door opens so you can see the cab. And of course, I cut the sleeper apart. I'm not going to use the sleeper, but I figure I can use the front edge of the sleeper to have some windows. For the upper bunk. And of course it's going to be a full walkthrough. And. I just wish I had the instructor sheet to. Place everything where it needs to go. But I'll see if I can order one online or. 
anybody wants to donate one for the uh, KW 900 Aerodyne. I've done pretty good so far. I just got to get all the other pieces that need to go in the rear end and front end so I can start placing things where they need to go. And I got to go over, uh, go to a hobby store and get some uh, wires for all the airlines. And these things can be plumbed and you name it. I'm thinking about giving the hood a little bit of a, a slant, but not too much, just enough to give it a rake. And I'm thinking about doing some custom work on the front fenders. Thinking about changing out the headlights. Maybe doing some, uh, give it a hot rod feel. Maybe some, uh, 40s or 37 Ford style fender. We'll see how that goes here. So I'll probably line up uh, cutting the wheel well, fender well, bring it down just a bit, then add a, a peak. Because this thing is going to be laid out. Then when I do the this is my center lines for the rear wheels. I'm going to have those barely coming up to here. Because the compartment box is going to come down another inch and a half. So I'd say probably somewhere in that area is how much I'm going to come down on the sidewall. So when I do the wheel opening... The should sit somewhere right in there. I'm going to start my wheel well here and covering half the tire on both. Like I said, it's going to be laid out. All the suspension is going to sit factory height, but the trick is doing the body work to make it look like it's laid out, like the airbags are no air in them. So that's what I got going on this uh, Sunday. Start working on this yesterday afternoon and probably around three o'clock. Then today just chilling and working on uh, the Impala and took a nap this afternoon. Got up around five. Then uh, start back on this again. Well, anyways, hope you all dig it. It's going to be wild. It's going to have a multicolor paint job. Uh, the paint job is going to consist of a, like a cream, gold, black, and a root beer brown. The root beer brown is going to start from the headlight top side, come back, go all the way towards the rear, come down. Then the cream colors and the golds and the silver it's just going to go all crazy throughout the whole sidewall and the driver's door hood. It's going to be a wild paint job. So I'm going to have to put the, the floor, the sidewalls, the roof, and the rear wall together. Because I'm going to paint this just like you would paint a real semi-truck. The slide outs are going to open. Uh, the rear wall is going to kind of mimic what they're doing nowadays on their custom motorhomes. <clears throat> to me, they look like transformers. I'll see if I can do uh, a mock up. I did one in 125th scale that I'm looking for. That I'm going to try to copy that design. And I should have that maybe draw it out here in a couple hours and maybe midweek I'll have a, another video of the rear cap of the front cap where it peaks down I'm going to design the roof to follow that peak 
to give it that aerodynamic look. Then there's going to be uh, awnings on this that awnings will come out. Of course, you have to pull them out. And <clears throat> behind this is going to be a a trader, a double car trader. That's going to be used to haul the uh, vet. Not the vet. The Vega. I might do a double car trailer or a single car trailer and just have a bunch of parts in her tires, engines, you name it. Still a long ways to go yet, but when you guys see this finished product or in progress, you guys can be blown away by all the custom cabinets, carpet, flooring. It's just going to be a mind blower. Where, uh, we have one other job that we're working on that's been there for about a year now. It's finally got into full body and paint. And we gutted everything out of that unit and rebuilt it. So I kind of like the interior design of what we did. So I'm going to try to mimic that into this and see how it comes out. Stay tuned on the KW900 Aerodyne Custom Show Hauler build. It's going to be a mind blower. Y'all be good. Happy modeling. Be safe. Have fun.